everyone today's video is my decoration and everything that I got and made I'm going to explain to you is a talking video and this is the dining room it's a Greco Roman style and my previous videos from like maybe a year or two ago I did a video of my um, dining room and uh, like the whole dining table decor and I would show before and after so this is what I had in mind to change everything and my husband and I we love the whole Greco-Roman style so let's begin okay starting from here from the wall now this I got at Walmart years ago and video it's silver and glitter I will show you that and what I did was had to peel off the um, the glitter because I sealed it with Mod Podge and then I had to sand it because of the I think it was the spray paint it was silver and glitter so I painted this with acrylic paint which I got a Hobby Lobby it was a warm white and uh, yeah to make it more of a Roman Greco style kind of like that ivory white move it on to the mirror so this mirror we did not buy this mirror it's not a new mirror it's an old mirror that we bought years ago at I think it was uh, no at old time pottery and as you can see before it was silver and um, I came up with this idea it was like in my head, I was like, I have to do this. And uh, yeah, I kind of wing it towards the end, which I will explain later. So what I decided to do was to use plaster on it. Now, plaster, unfortunately, doesn't hold metal um, glass. So I came up with this idea of taking a paper and Mod Podge, like glue it on the frame and put the paper, like a white regular paper and just put it on top of that so that way when I do like the whole plaster it would stick onto it and it actually worked so I put that and then I did the dowel sticks as you can see here and I glue with the wood glue gorilla wood glue and I let that set in and here is the wood base it's like a four by four. I got at Hobby Lobby and glue that with the wood glue. I would recommend E6000 glue because it will hold like in, in dry a little bit more faster than the wood than the the wood glue from Gorilla Glue. So, anyways, and then I apply the plaster all over the edges and and around the wood here and on top of this as well as the bottom of this wood base and then once that is done and sets in dry it I wait like a day or two and sand it and of course wear your gloves your N95 mask if and um, your safety glasses so once you sand it you dab it with water when applying the plaster you have to put cold water so it can activate better and don't put too much like too much plaster tooth when it's too thick it, it can dry quicker so you gotta read the instructions in the back of the label so anyways um so once i dapped it with like pa paper towel water to take the leftover to, um, dust like the plaster then what I did was I paint it. I paint with the satin enamel. It's an antique ivory. So I gave it a good three coats. Um, before I painted, I these antique uh, applicate is from Hobby Lobby. It's cheaper than at Amazon. And this was the last thing that I was thinking, kind of wing it. I did put the, sh I cut the dowel sticks short and I put it at the bottom to see, you know, it would look nice. I didn't like it. So what I ended up doing was gluing the, these woods 
little applique as well as the um the top this is how it looks and once that's set and then i paint it i paint everything and i gave it about i paint everything i gave it about three three coats so i got these garden leaves from hobby lobby 50 percent off and I got the, the like the fake grapes and I just cut it and and I hot glue it and I put it all over and yeah and I hanged it on top that wreath I made and moving on to this end table as you saw from my recent video and I made this with the plastic on top of the table put the applique and I also put plastic there and I sanded, wiped down, and painted. I gave it three coats. When I paint, I like to give three coats. So this decor here, it's from Old Time Pottery of a Mermaid, and that is from Home Goods. I got this round area rug at, at um, Amazon, and it was, I think, uh, I think it was like $30. It's a four by four, and it's a uh, ivory and gray so i thought it kind of go with the theme and it kind of looked like a, a greco style and um yeah so i felt like the whole greco roman style is more simple it's not glam it's more like ivory and white and the stones and the wood so that was pretty much what i was getting at from my research and i'm gonna start off by the tablecloth. So this is a linen tablecloth. It really goes with the theme, especially with the tassel on the edges. And we got this at Amazon. <laughs> Everything's Amazon. And um, yeah, so it, I think it was about 20 something dollars. So the material is really nice and I really, really like it. So these are just the glass. I think this is a Dollar Tree tea light candles the glass round one yeah I got this at Dollar Tree like years ago so I decided to put it on the table and for this size of table in the dining room as you can see from before it was four chairs my husband decided it's best two chairs since it's just me and him and we found these upholstery chair and I love the fabric the texture I like that it's it's a beige so that goes with the whole theme and it's sturdy. I, I, it's a really good quality um, chairs that we got on Amazon for 130 something dollars for sets of two. We're moving on to the plates. So we have the big one, the small one. And these plates, I believe it was from BBB, Bed Bath & Beyond. The, um, the white, to give it a more pop from the ivory and beige. So the white cloth is a gift from my mother-in-law that she got at Bed Bath & Beyond. She loves Bed Bath & Beyond. And this wood napkin, napkin holder, um, I believe that's how you say it. So this is real wood and I it's four of them. I put two of them in the counter top over there and to here so and that is also from amazon i forgot how much it cost i think it was 14 or 16 dollars so moving on to the center of the table we have the um sheer it's like a sheer white it has a little shine to it um fabric which i got a hobby lobby and it's one yard i fold it in half put it around and this column right here is an ivory white column from Hobby Lobby and it was on sale. It was on sale and we got it for about $10. So we were really happy about that. And this vine here was also at Hobby Lobby and um, it was longer than this so I just cut it and I glue hot glue on the top and on the bottom so it can stay. And on top of the column is the um, candle that you see. And this 
these two are from Hobby Lobby as well. And we have the coasters. This is, I think, a limestone. It's a real stone coaster. And we also got this on Amazon as well. And I really love that because it gives it more of a feel of a Mediterranean style. So I really love that. And I like that it doesn't slide when you put your cup and it's just nice and sturdy and doesn't get stained. And it's just perfect. And it just really goes with the whole thing. Moving on to the, the wall here decor. So this was originally pure white. It was pure white. I felt like it was just too blended with the wall and the decoration on top so I wanted to give it more of a pop and I paint that as well the same color paint as the uh, mirror frame and that is also inching ivory color so I really thought it looked nice and it just gave it more of a pop as well as the white decor so I really like the wall man mantel so that looks really good so moving on here in the corner this, I got it, it today. Um, it arrived, it took a week to come from Amazon that I found. I checked on when I went to Hobby Lobby, but it was just too expensive. I thought it was a little bit overpriced. This is four feet, um, um, LED light tree. And I just wanted to give it a little bit more romantic feel and I found it on Amazon for, I forgot how much, I don't know, but I will put everything and the prices and where I got everything in the description box, but it was a lot, it was, I think, I think it was like 40 something to $50. So to me, that was reasonable com compared to the other different heights of the trees and the prices at Hobby Lobby. And this is four feet right here. And I really love it. It just gives it a little bit pop. And um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until then, take care. Bye.